Uh, is it in some sort of other language or something? Uh, no, I've... It's in no, none of it. You've scanned it. <laughs> yeah. Um, here's the thing, Not Ashley. Language there's language some rules that I talked to Lori Lord about beforehand. Since you have made an initial reading, is scanning, uh-huh. essentially. You can, instead of making a reading of the book, you can just try to learn the spells that you have found in it. You don't have to do a depth... End up reading. I'm just um, trying if to you do the end up, these three pages, yeah. I can't do it. If you do make an in depth reading of the book, it'll give you more Cthulhu mythos. If you just get working on the spells, then you can start working on trying to learn them. And I would say up to two people, in this case now you and Yori, can do it at the same time as you travel if you want. Uh, sharing the book and kind of working on it. So, which do you prefer to start reading this? It'll probably take months to read, uh, as opposed to just skimming. Or do you want to just start? Focusing on trying to learn one of the spells. Yeah, I can, I'll do a spell. Okay. Uh, you guys can talk about because are you, are you going to share with her that you're trying to learn... Command uh, Ghost. Command Ghost is what yeah. he wants. And you've got a list too, right, Ashton? Yeah. What I do you want to try to learn out of that? Um, Command Ghost. Yeah. I, the Create Scrying Window um, actually costs Essence. Yeah. Create what Zombie it says. does not require Essence. No, it doesn't. It's just, it just requires magical power. That's what we we'll call zombies it. zombies are bodies. Pre-zombies. I don't know how a doctor would feel about pre zombies. <laughs> You're giving the body a purpose again. You know how Joel felt about it. <laughs> the workers that would never, ever take pay or need it. They would work forever. Can't let it happen. Okay, think about that. Uh, no, I'll, I'll, do, I'll do the same one. I'll, I'll help him study man, that one. Man, okay. Yeah. So roll 2d6. This is how much time... Two D6? That's how many weeks? Roll one. I rolled, I rolled three. Now keep in mind, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you do it, well, okay, we'll, it. Five we'll count this for whatever spell you decide. So okay. five weeks. Um, five weeks, dice, from July 20th. Um, <coughs> keep in mind, it is faster if somebody learns a spell to teach it to somebody else. It doesn't take that 2D6. I believe it's a one week or maybe two weeks tops. So if one of us learns it, then... If you guys learn different... But if you guys try to learn different spells, then you can mm-hmm. teach each other different spells, and at least it'll be faster. And here's how it works, Ashton. the Vorsh sign? <laughs> the Vorsh sign um, makes other spells work better, essentially. It's like a hand gesture. Better um, zombies. <laughs> well, no, it'll work faster, it'll take less magic, something like that. Um, circumvent essence. When you want to learn a spell, Ashton, you have to make a hard intelligence check, right? Okay. If you make it, you think you know how to cast the spell. Okay. The first time you cast it, you have to make a hard power check. Mm. If you do that, mm. then you know how to cast it correctly. If you fail, you can push. But if you fail to push, the spell works. But something really... The dire consequences are how the text reads, actually. Mm-hmm. Something really, really bad. Some of the dark young, um, You can push your first intelligence check, too, uh, to see if you learned it. And something goes wrong or could cost you more sand- some sanity or something. Uh, once you've successfully cast a spell, you know how to do it. You don't have to make any more checks ever again. Um, it's just that first time. Yeah. So you can't just learn a spell and then, I'm going to try it in the field the first time and it's automatically going to work. Uh, it could go wrong. Terrible things could happen. You could be dragged, dragged into the sky and never seen again. Who knows? Dark uh, so anyway. Dark Eldemar, right? So, do you want to do you want to work on the same spell, or do you want to do a different spell? I'm throwing all this information on you really quickly. I'm sorry about that. We're never gonna get to double spells. We're gonna stay here and learn a spell the whole time. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You guys, oh, yeah. they can travel and work this spell though. Yeah. And guys, huh. screw double Gulch, We're gonna actually just dedicate the next two mobs to learning this spell. Santa Quinn, this is where we live now. Yeah. The Mormons, the Mormons. will feed us. So, um, same spell, Ashton, or do you want to try a different spell, or? No. I'll do um, I'll do Borstein. Okay, so you're gonna work on Borstein. So that'll be five weeks from uh, July twentieth. You say? Yeah. As long as you have kind of a. No, my horse is they're running away. Two, three, four, five. So August twenty fourth, we'll be checking on you. August twenty fifth is when we're checking on yours. So. There we go. Those notes have been made. Hooray! Okay. Forty eight days from booking. Something like that. All right, so. Night passes on the bed on the edge of town. Um, you guys have a nice breakfast of whatever uh, food, hardtack, beef jerky, eggs. Uh, you already probably got a whole camp kit in there. I've still got those pickled peppers. And oh, yeah, all, that, all those pickles from... Pickles. Yeah, they're still good. They're going to be here for a long time. Yeah. Um, you guys have a nice breakfast, and you can head west from uh, east that morning if you want uh, into the desert. Um, driving, the, driving the medicine wagon, riding your horses... 
There's more horses in here. Um, Every time you ride, right, you're going to ride your horse. What? Where are you? <laughs> what? Where? Trying to get on the medicine wagon. What's your Every horse time. Name? Every time. What's your horse name? I can't remember. Here, name's Shy Ann. Shy Ann. I like that name. <laughs> I thought that was clever. Oh, yeah, where's the base? Uh, right in front of you, I think. Isn't there a box? Oh. I think it's right there. Yeah. I thought I saw like a whole bag of them somewhere. Uh, that was the women for Ashton because she likes to use that same mini. Alright, what the hell are you doing today? Give me a top hat man. What? <laughs> this is Evelyn's yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, top hat man. So you're on the front of your of the wagon. You've got these two horses, or two of your horses, whichever two. We're, we're going to uh, battle These two are following. Can I ask? And here are your guys' horses. Oh, that this is oh, so. <coughs> Tulip and Corey in the back. Corey's in the house? They're probably tied. They're probably not, I would, yeah, they can be tied like that. I feel like I speak up for <laughs> once. Yeah. Still, still away. Can I write down? No. <laughs> wow. <laughs> How do you look, John? I look are you glaring at me? Okay, he's glaring at you. Out of character, those are my precious things. No, 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 you don't have to explain anything you do. I know that. He doesn't have saddles for him either. Oh, you probably still have your saddle. No, wait, your horse got eaten. Every, no, no, it would it would not have had the saddle on. You could you you've probably been key, you've probably got your saddle and and gear and gear yeah, so with you. So yeah, uh, room to ride on that medicine wagon. I figured you already in the medicine wagon. Oh yeah. Inside on the front. Where do you want to be? I'll be inside. Okay, so you're just in there. There's a bunk that folds down near the ceiling. Um, and, and there's a bunch of blankets and shit in there. It looks like people are going to live He's going to pass out and never wake up. <laughs> <laughs> never wake up. Oh, well, Jack West is dead. Uh, just chuck him out the back. Oh. <laughs> anyway, sorry. He interrupted you to ask to get in the wagon, and when Stoyd said yes, he gets in. So you're still standing there as Stoyd is hitching up. You can ride in the wagon. The team. You can ride out front. You can direct the horses. I guess I'll direct the horses. Like... Is, are you riding on one of the front horses? No, like, he, he can... Like, be the guy with the little thing. thing. On top of the, the carriage. Oh, the driving the horses. Yeah, okay. he can drive the horses. That's, that's, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll let him learn to do that. Where do you want to be, then? Are like you just on the front here? I'll be there. Yeah. Like, I don't know if he's ever, like, driven a wagon, so I guess... So you sit there and see if, um, You've got drive wagon, but it's a base or something, right? Yeah. Yeah, you know Mine's the basics. Space. You know the basics of getting the horses going, making them stop. Uh, getting him to turn in whatever direction you are. There's a big brake lever uh, for going downhill so that uh, you can slow yourself going downhill. Um, yeah, you know a little bit more if something bad happens. Um, so those two, you two guys are inside. The two horses are tied up behind. And Jakali and um, Weisfeld are on their horses. Where do you want to be riding along? Just in general, like beside, the, beside it, up ahead of it. Just kind of where are you? Are they leading or are we leading? Ah. I think it might be. Whichever you want to do. Huh? Um, sure. I would assume I'll, that I'll we're going to say that last yeah. night. Well, last we, time we, we, I think I know the area the do. most. So. You know, if you go due east from here, that's eventually going to take you to the middle of Colorado. There's a, where you can either continue uh, east or you can, oh. um, or you could potentially get a train if by that time you're done with riding and continue on. You know that you were looking in the Atlas, you know Devil's Gulch, there's the Kansas Pacific Rail line runs right through it, so um, I believe it's Kansas Pacific. Um, so you can well, shorten your distance. Wagon, yeah, so. Kansas Pacific. Right, we could have probably gotten ready and left earlier, anyways. That's why we're like ahead of me. Well, you, you guys could be still be with them and just be riding up ahead yeah, of them. Oh yeah, okay. So yeah. you're heading in. You're heading in. I'm scared. Um, it's very hot. It's uh, the kind. Of, it's a it's a Utah deserty kind of crap, which is like scrubland shit. It's not like the Sahara. It's not like sand, but it's all super dry, uh, a lot of a lot of green and brown, but not a lot of water. And um, um, according to your atlas, there's a proposed rail line supposed to come through here at some time, uh, right through the right through the reservation, of course. Uh, so you guys so have are we riding up to the reservation. Um, uh, the route you take will take you kind of on the on the edge of the reservation potentially. Um, you don't think there'll be any trouble. You're not. Poaching or doing anything illegal there, you don't think that the natives would probably care that much. Okay. Um, as long as you don't cause any trouble. And you're not planning on it. I so cause trouble. You just cause irritation. Um, <laughs> <coughs> yes. My so, um, 
What? <laughs> Symptoms of Sim Lord. Yeah, I'm such a child. Oh, yeah. Okay. There you go. Um, you travel for about 80 to 90 miles the first four days. Um, the, the medicine wagon is slower than just on horseback, uh, but, but Stoloid does make it pretty well. You do fine guiding, guiding the wagon over the, uh, uh, over everything. Um, you're on the fourth day out when, uh, uh, it's in the late afternoon when to your north, which is to your left, you spot, um, probably like five miles away. Um, it's very, they're more silhouettes than anything. You can't really make any details, but it looks like five or six, um, people on horseback riding hell, hell for leather back towards the west. Um, Hell for leather. They're going as fast as they can, apparently. Gotcha. Uh, they appear to be natives, um, but it is five miles away, so you can't make out much in the way of detail. And they're not, they're heading in a, you guys are heading this way, and they're heading back this way. And again, five miles away from you to the north, which you know is the reservation. Um, I pull up my binoculars and I look. Uh, so your times two binoculars, they're yes, still two yes, and a half miles yes, away. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, it does, you do, give me spot hidden. Do I know? See if you can make up details okay. because it's kind of hard to, to see in the, in the late afternoon. Oh, four. Uh, oh, four. they're definitely natives. Um, wearing leather, you know long hair, uh, nothing on their faces guys. as far as, <laughs> no. Um, and they're just, they're heading west. They're heading back the way you guys came. I think it's a trick. There you go. It is an extreme, but, uh, uh, a crit's a one. I, I guess I would suggest, hey, let's see what Goth's doing. Ah. Okay, you say that. Uh, what do you want to do about it? I, I, I try to, like, get them to, like, let's go see what the neighbors, what's going on. I'm a mess car. I can't hear you from the moment. Let's see what's going on. You're probably high as a kite in the back somewhere. Woo! <laughs> 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 um, so what do you guys want to do? do? I you guess. probably can't turn around yeah. and catch up with them on time. No, especially with no, that no, wagon. Yeah, there's no way you'll be able to catch up, even on horseback, probably. Yeah. They've got five mile lead on you, and they're just booking it. Booking it back towards the reservation. I say we should just keep our wits about us and watch it out is for whatever they're running from, or if they are. Okay. okay. Is that final decision? Yeah, I don't want to get in the okay. middle of a fire fight. Okay. Mm. That's so we did not slow not. down to discuss this, correct? No. no, no, you're in the back. You were, yeah, so I don't even know. He probably, that. you would have had to call to them. And we would have slowed down. And, and been like, hey, what should we do? You can make a listen check. Okay. And we'll see if you overhear this conversation. Because it's kind of calling to them. No. They're 30 or 40 feet away. <laughs> you're like, you hear them talking outside and calling to each other. And you're like, <laughs> you don't hear gunfire. You don't hear screaming. <laughs> it's fine. Um, okay, you continue on. You I'm going to suggest that Vice Hold and I, like, separate out a little bit so we can yeah. keep an eye on, like, behind the wagon, too, in case yeah, anything like that happens. I guess, you can even I guess circle I'll, if you want as you travel. I was going to say, I guess I could be looking around with the binoculars now. Yeah, you can. Uh, so so he's driving. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can even climb up on top of the freaking thing if you want. I don't want to be on top. No. Okay. Yeah, you could be kind That's of keeping an eye out with, uh, <laughs> with the glass. Um, nothing okay. happens until you it gets dark and it's time to make a camp that night. Um... Yes. I was going to be sleeping during the wagon ride. Yeah. You've been sleeping and uh, nipping uh, when you feel the, the, the craving uh, <laughs> during the wagon ride. Yes. So I think it's not too bad. But um, it's not easy to bad. sleep. The wagon is <laughs> jolts and jostles. You're not on any kind of road. You're just yeah. going across the desert. Oh, so, so there's a lot of... I'm trying to stay tipped up to like... I hydraulics on my bed. You don't. Keep <laughs> uh, anyway, so you make camp that night. You can make uh, you can make a fire if you guys want to. Um, you can find some would. scrub brush. You're going to make a fire. I'll make some fire. There's scrub well. brush and shit that you can get that'll burn. Uh, make a little fire out there. You can cook up some some food. I'm assuming that you. I'm gonna just assume you guys know you're just going cross country, so you've got hardtack, beef jerky, probably some bacon, ham. Um, you got all the preserves that you know are gonna last forever, steroid. Um, yeah. So so long lasting food that you're not gonna have to chuck if it takes you more than a week or two to get to another bastion of civilization. You have a nice meal. Um, anybody have cooking that wants to do anything fancy? That's a skill. Nope. It'd be under art craft. Oh. If you decide to take it, nobody ever takes it. So it's just a plain, pretty plain meal, um, but it's filling in it, and, and it's good. I'm going to try um, to make that Pop Rock candy again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can try to make the Pop Rock candy for you. Yeah. Okay, you make some. It seems to, it crackles in your mouth a little. Nice. It's weird. It's beautiful. <laughs> in a witch. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm going to save most of it. That's, okay, that's yeah. going to be a good seller. Maybe, oh, if it I doesn't eat, terrify the children. Okay, what? Can I use natural to find edible plants? 
Uh, yes. Yeah, or water. You could do natural world or geography, geology if you want to do water, too. You guys have plenty. I would assume Stolik has like a barrel of water in a medicine. Yeah. I want to do the plants, sir. Yeah. Or eat plants or herbs to spice up the meal. Which you want? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you want? Do you want, do you want edible yeah. plants like onions, you water onions and stuff? Or do you want like <laughs> some herbs or something <laughs> to make things taste better? Yeah. What is your spice? I want spices. You want spices and you want some edible... <laughs> yeah, some wild Ed, onions. What else goes in there? You can see cactus. Cool. There's some cactus that you can add. Yeah, yeah. Certain cactus that you know will be safe and, and will add kind of filler and maybe a little. Sugar. I haven't even seen you find some. Time, I, was I don't know what kind of herbs you would find in a, uh, the Utah yeah. desert, but you find some. Just make, the, make the meal. Give it a little spice. Yeah, yeah. 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 Can I, I was letting Jen Can I keep tracking to see if there's any wild animals? Um. Yeah, like yeah. Give me a try, just see if you notice any. You probably don't want to. You probably don't want to hunt at night, okay. per se. Not if you have plenty of food. But is uh, that a success? Yeah, that's a success. Uh, there are signs of coyote. Um, I didn't write down what Utah's indigenous to, but there's probably some um, rabbits, that kind of stuff in the um, area. Um, anybody have trapping? Okay. Wilderness. John would be able to trap and get some fresh game if he was there, but he's not. You're like, damn it. Some good fresh meat would be so good right now. Okay, the night passes uneventfully. Um, I want to say that was you guys left on the 21st. Four days. Meander around looking for So um, the 24th. This is the night of the 24th. So the 25th. Next morning, 25th. Um, you wake up, you have a breakfast again. Uh, you got some spices for it. I don't know if Steloid wants to use one of his chili peppers to spice up whatever it is you guys fix. Oh, so spice. Um, uh, you have a nice breakfast and you head off. Uh, get the horses fed and rigged up and get going in. Um, everybody can make me a uh, spot hidden. You didn't make No, no, you're inside. And did you stay up last night? Were you on guard duty or something? Yeah, I was staying up for okay. most of the night. But okay. I, I, you could do. Okay, okay, double thumbs good. up is going to be extreme from now on for me. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Actually. yeah. So um, Otto's still watching the horses and just, just blaming him and just, just wrapped with... with Guilt. Despair and guilt. And regret. Um, Jakali, um, what, 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 hmm. You've fallen back. Thank you too much about them slugs. To make sure nothing has, no, you did this on purpose. You're just kind of behind the, the, the wagon and everything to make sure that nothing's following you guys. Because you're getting a little nervous. You're a little nervous. Why are those Indians running? Yep. Um, if you notice, um, He's getting a leg the, the um, yeah. it looks like there's some vultures circling ahead. And you can see the vultures are circling over an area of like broken rock that looks like a like a um, craterish. No, no, not a crater, yeah. not a crater at all. It's it's more of a place where just like like millions of years ago the rocks thrust up out of the ground, and so they're so maybe like eight or nine feet tall. It's a, it's almost like a sheltered area, slightly sheltered. No, no, no it's not, not big enough tall. to be a bluff. It's only just just several. It's just a big pile of old old rocks that have been there forever. Oh, yeah. But there might be some like shelter or hiding place in there. I'll point it out. So you didn't notice like the the rocks and stuff, but you do see the the vultures. They're kind of ahead into you guys' left. It's not like overhead and right for it. How are you pointing? It's only it out? a little way. You shout and you point it out like over there. Good vultures. Okay. I'll start going that way. Okay. Vice Vault starts, uh, kicks her horse, Use, and uh, I want to catch that direction. You see her going off, you go there, what? I'm leaving the medicine wagon towards it. Okay, uh, you're turning your ho- the horses towards we'll it. keep watching with binoculars. Oh, uh, you got your binoculars. Have you been watching all morning? Or just now that something's happened? Just happening? now that okay. I've spotted something. Like, I, I don't, you don't watch with them. You, you like, see something you want to see, and you're like... Yeah, that's, that's the best way to do it. Um, what else you're going to get high string? You find... Oh, God, this one. Uh, Jack, you hear them shouting. Yeah. About uh, over there, or whatever. Is there like any kind of windows in your medicine? Plant? No, not when it's all closed up like it is now. Uh, you can see out the front. There's like a, there's like a, it's not a blanket. It's like I a see curtain. His feet, maybe. No, no, no. Because there's a curtain and they sit in front of it. Yeah. So it's like here and they're sitting here. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then there's a door in the back that is probably um, open right now, so that you get some air in there. Otherwise, it's going to get stiflingly hot. Oh yeah. Um, and the curtains are probably open in the front too. So. Sorry, what you've yeah, got. Yeah, if you want to, well, you can <laughs> see between them. You can see between them if you yeah. want to look out the front. Um, Looking out. Weisfeld and Jakali will get over there first. Um, the the vultures yes. are above you here. I'm going to um, make sure I have my bow on me. Like, just out or just on you? Ready. I'm assuming it's always on you unless you're okay. sleeping right now. Um, or sitting around the fire at night. You probably don't have it. It's probably by beside you. Um, and you've got yours, too. 
Um, you hear a no, uh, sounds like somebody's chanting or singing, and it almost sounds like um, somebody's death song. Oh, uh, what is it? Oh, okay. It's a native. Clarify it's a name. native. Uh, what oh, they sing when they're dying before <laughs> they go into the happy honeymoon. So already, what? <laughs> it's you coming? <laughs> Cast me <in> your score. Summon <laughs> <laughs> Chithonian, we're coming like, for you. It sounds like the, the 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 voice is coming from inside, like a uh, an area where it's it's almost like a sheltered area in the. And rocks. it's echoing up to us. Yes, okay. it's not very far away. Um. You can't see anybody there yet, but they, then that means they can't see you either. It's not, like, super dark. Yes. This is important, but I've marked that tequila bottle not for consumption. Oh, yeah, okay. No, that isn't. That could be important. Thanks for letting me know that. Okay. Um, how far away are we? How far away do you want to be? Um, probably, like, 50 or 60 feet when okay. you start to hear, like, the singing yeah. and chanting I'll, noise. I want the wagon to pop. Okay. Uh, you guys see... Um, uh, Vice Vault holding her hand up and, and giving you one of one of these. Yeah. I guess I stopped. Okay. But I don't say anything. No, that's fine. What are you two are up there? You guys did not hear this yet. I think we should there. approach alone. Yeah, on foot probably, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Do we get a signal? Huh? Like a like a <laughs> you, you guys are probably this far ahead of them, like almost a hundred feet ahead. We should have established that before anything. You know, that's when she signaled them to stop. Because you guys could have easily gotten far ahead of the lion. Oh, okay. As far as you wanted. They went off on horseback. Uh, ahead of the kind of like I'm, Yeah. I'm okay, he's oh, just too bad. Like, uh, it's 150 feet, we're going to say, from the wagon to this bluff area. The bluff or broken rocks. You guys go back over there to them? Yeah. You're, you're there. We're not gonna move, we don't yeah. have to move minis right yet. Uh, so, yeah. You know. I know. Yeah, we want to approach this place on foot. Uh, we think it's best not to take the wagon there. Uh, I guess yes. if you are stealthy and follow behind us oh. as backup. Ah, uh, I get off the wagon and yeah. just start getting ready to follow them. Okay. It's, it's a bunch of natives. They might house. not be oh, yeah. psyched about them. having yeah. some we, white men we we approaching. Yeah. yeah. I'd appreciate you two more as backup than as investigative. Okay, squad. But we should set up a. Uh... I do agree. We need a group safe word in case one of us is in trouble. <laughs> a safe house. A safe howl. Howl like a. What like should a, that be? Like a wolf. What is a word you'll never use when you're in danger? I will never howl like a wolf unless I'm in danger. <laughs> Strawberry. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> I forgot you were here, Jack West. We could go raspberry. I don't think the type of berry matters. <laughs> It could just ah, be. Well, then I choose blueface. <laughs> All right. There you go. <laughs> First coin I heard. Any of us are ever in danger. Like we all agree that we will start howling like wolves and naming off all of our favorite berries. <laughs> <laughs> also, guys, it doesn't just have to be funny. It can be just really good role playing. So, so blackberries for you. You have blueberries. Wes, you said strawberry. strawberry. Otto, what's your favorite berry? Do you even answer Otto? Just look at him. He just stared right. at you. Nice berry, Otto. <laughs> oh my gosh. What are, what are those white berries? I'm trying to remember. Wait. Is that holly? Do holly have white berries? Uh, like yes. When they're young? How can you like them? I know what you're calling a raspberry. Oh my god. <laughs> 20 hours <laughs> later. Because I can eat only berries are white. That takes purple. Blue. Okay, so what's the plan after this berry discussion? <laughs> I will have raspberry, of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> All right, are we ready to go up? You two in tow. You guarding the wagon, Jack West, and I'll stay at the wagon. Wise Falls and I going up to so the wagon. people. Yeah, I'm not. I'm you're not going up, and then you're between the century. two. Yeah. That's what I, feel. I think they're white when they're yellow. That's what I'm saying. Like, kind of there's berries, there's yeah. some sort of Christmas right. berry that like goes so, red. I'm gonna whisper um, just so it like they gain the color. You guys, here, let's we'll make this the broken rock just to kind of get an idea because I want kind of a visual on this. This also. Oh, this is wilder. Berries. There we go. Mistletoe does. Yeah. Okay, that's what I was thinking. I'm trying to remember. I just knew it was Christmas stuff. So there's Jack West. He's staying, and so is Stoloid. You guys just <laughs> allegedly. You guys are staying with the. It wasn't my plan. The wagon. Well, so it might not for the moment. <laughs> yeah, These horses have terrible things. Yeah, they're basically. Where do you want? Are your horses going to be left back here then? 
Italian rifle. I mean, I guess. And you two guys are going, and then you were going to go about halfway. Or to swear I can get a good vantage point on anything. Mm-hmm. And yeah. then I'm going to yeah. sneak behind you. Um, your rifle's range is up, like, <laughs> 50 yards <laughs> or something. <laughs> You're sneaking. If they're sneaking behind, behind us. Oh, you have a carbine. Yeah. yeah. So it's 50 yards. Yeah, that's still 150. <laughs> He's sneaking behind me. Who's driving the plane? Okay. And you guys are going to head up to see what's going on. Is that the plan? Yeah. Okay. Um, it's uh, you're well within range. Uh, it's broken rocks in this area, like I said, and overhangs so that there's like a hidey hole. Little place, not really a cave. It's just like an area where there's cover from above. Um, and there is, uh, it looks like there's a brave in there, lying down on the ground, uh, like singing his death song. You think? Um, from the looks of him, you especially, and yeah, you would know it too. It looks like he's a Ute. Uh, which are the Indians that are on this reservation. Um, and there's a lot of blood, a lot of dried blood all over. Can I come I'm running. <laughs> oh, my spell. <laughs> I'll, I'll follow. Yeah, okay. Do you think I can um, communicate with him? Uh, An Apache? Mm-hmm. Now you're running away or towards him to help? No, she's running towards him. I got Cheyenne. That's what, that's what, uh, that's what Dr. Weisbold does. He <laughs> to help people whenever, whenever they need it. She throws, here's, here's her safety. <laughs> hey, I like it. I think that's a. a oh yeah, no, that's trailer. good. I think that's amazing. Okay, you are here. That's my that's my star tree. Let's see, the Navajo. <laughs> and I'm Apache right there. Apache's down here. And Cheyenne's probably close. Cheyenne to is right here, right next to him. There's another Cheyenne um, right there. Oh yeah. Okay, so what I'm gonna say is that you both can make out the basics of what he's saying. You understand it better actually than 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 uh, <laughs> Jacali because she's down from from further south. Um, and that's how we'll just kind of call that one. He's a coffee um, bumpkin. Um, thunderbirds, lightning lizards. You don't know what that means. Um, and he's definitely singing his death chant. Um, like, yeah. I'm not sure exactly what that consists of, but it's it's a oh god, man. It's out. Telling, well, no, it's more of a telling of his life story for the gods before he goes, that kind of thing. Um, he's obviously delirious. Uh, he has you run up to him and he doesn't even like notice you. Yeah. Um, uh, the injury is some kind of a tear, like from a sharp claw, like right up his center. Uh, you can see his stomach. It's bad. It is so bad. Um, there's a lot of blood just kind of oozed there. Um, um, if uh, the two of you see this, you can make a uh, natural world, word, world, but I need an extreme success. All right. Going for a nine. Yeah. It's, it's not very likely. I got a 16. 16 points. Uh, you're not sure exactly what caused it. Um, <laughs> that would have been a pass for me. <laughs> what do you want to do? Well, this is all that you aid. see when, as soon as you get there. Okay, do first aid first. Um, yeah, I want a stable. I want to call out, like, we're coming to help as best I can. Okay. Yeah, just a hard. Made it hard? Okay. And I want to do whatever I can you, to help. You start, okay, uh, she starts telling you what to do. Yeah. Got to get them closed up. We got to get some stitches on this. You're, whi- you're whipping out all the shit out of your... Your medical bag. I'm, I'm telling um, him, like, I'm a doctor, I'm here to help. And he has, does not seem to have even noticed you guys. He's, it's not surprising that he's delirious. Um, he's probably been here for at least hours, if not a day. Um, uh, he, he does need water, right, but you don't want to give him any yet. You don't want to give him yeah, any yet, yeah, just yeah. in case he's got the, gut, the, in case he's, the stomach is cut. Um, I'll need a medicine from you, just a regular medicine roll. Um, he's just in terrible, terrible shape. Okay. Um, they're gone for quite a while. You saw them run into the rocks uh, and disappear into the rocks up ahead. All three of you guys have seen this because you're oh, okay. all watching them. Um, but then they're gone for how long do you want to wait? They didn't howl. They did. There was no. You haven't heard any like screams for help I'm or creep up howling. Slow. Okay, you start I, I creeping up. I put my hand on your shoulder. I'm like, they didn't howl. Say they're buried. <laughs> <laughs> we all need the raspberry. They're highly buried. <laughs> 